Yeah, I used to pray for times like this. See that? I am Josh Pleasant, and today I will be unboxing, and I am excited to announce my new partnership with Lobster Sports. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing the Phenom, and I'm also going to be unboxing the Elite 2. I already own one of the Elites. Uh, I've got a couple remotes that I'm going to be able to use with these guys. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my equipment that I have been using. Typically, this is a tennis piece of equipment, but I'm going to be using for all different types of athletes, all different types of sports um, to work hand-eye coordination, change of direction, conditioning, you name it. I'm going to have drills for it. Uh, so I'm super excited. I'm very thankful to Lobster Sports and Ms. Brandy for creating this partnership and collaboration so that we can all grow together and help take CBP to the next level and help take Lobster Sports to the next level. So check it out. All right. Well, I think I'm going to open box number one just because it's the biggest box. <laughs> uh, right. In box number one, we have a lot of stuff in here. In box number one, we have 75 tennis balls, a lobster branded tennis ball. Hey, you guys do the dang thing. You, hey, you guys, you guys do the, Look at that. Hey, man, look. We got the lobster brand. Can't nobody steal those. <laughs> lobster. All right. All right, I think. Protection. Protection, you know. Got to take care of the babies. Hey, this is like heavy duty foam. This is like if somebody decided to throw it, it would not work. And so, oh, this is the Phenom. Woo! It like, it like Christmas. It's a big, this thing is bigger than, dang. All right, this is a half of the Phenom. Wow. Wow. So this is the back of the Phenom with the board. And then that is the front of it. This has preloaded drills, power baseliner, all quarter, grinder, moon baller, slicer, lefty. And that's basically like tennis styles of play in tennis um, or types of shots in tennis. Um, this has, it, it oscillates so it can go left and right. Um, Random, horizontal, short, mid, deep. It can go random, vertical, left, middle, right, two line, narrow, medium, and white. Yeah, this is like the guy of all guys. This, this is this is Himothy in in the box. Yeah, this is the Himothy of tennis ball monsters. Well, actually, they have a higher level. There's a Phenom too, but we ain't need all that. I'm thankful for what we have here. It has spin on it, feed rate, elevation. You can change zero to 50, 50 degrees. 250 ball capacity, unlimited court time because it, it can be AC powered. Oh my gosh. This is a guy. Wow. All right. So, that is all for box one. Oh, no. Oh, actually, we got some other stuff in here. Yeah, we got some other stuff. So, we have, I'm going to have to do some direction reading. This is probably going to be just unboxing today. So this is just. It says feed and sweep on it. I'm going to be finding out soon. But this is one of the remotes. And then this has, it looks like this is the piece that can, oh, okay, this is this is how you adjust the pointer. Those are just some of the pieces that connect the top and the bottom. And then the, the thing is like a pointer that tells you how high the ball is shooting. So there's like this little gray piece that's in here for that. And then we have cord, power cord. All right, that's box number one. Box number two. Honestly, I, like there's not a way to get faster catches than, than with this machine. Like honestly, like if I can shoot a ball every two seconds and I have 250 balls loaded into a machine, I, I could have 25 people ripping in and out in under four minutes like of time. Like, like 25 people getting 10 balls, like in boom, boom, like, like the, the volume that I can get, the variability of drills that I can get, the range of space that I can use. Like, I'm, I'm a football coach, so I do, like, pump return stuff. I could use this for some of my lax athletes, for goalies, stopping stuff. 
I can use for soccer players, just controlling the ball at the foot and just identifying with the smaller ball. Um, and rather than like just catching with the football, this is just a little bit of a smaller object. So you got to focus a little bit harder and really focus on the squeeze of the hand to be able to make your catches. Um, and I believe it's going to be a great uh, piece to allow, especially my football players, my defensive backs, and my receivers to allow them to catch better um, before all, all my athletes overall. And it's also like a super fun warm up. Like, like imagine you come in and like you could either do like your dynamic stretches and stuff like that, and you're not really feeling it, or you come in and you got to catch 30 balls. Like that's just flying around and get your heart rate going, get you excited to work out a little bit. Um, Cause I do have like these like warm up periods, and this just adds to like my warm up period, and also creates the mentality that you should get here earlier to do more work before everybody else is doing the work. Cause I always tell my guys, if you're doing the same thing as everybody else, you're only gonna get what everybody else is doing. So um, this is just another way to add um, to the tools that I have to allow my athletes to be the best that they can be, and that's why I love it. Bars. Box number one was cool, but uh, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm looking for some a little bit more excitement here with, uh, with box number two. Ooh, it looks like the bottom. This looks like the bottom of the phenom. This is like a serious piece of equipment, too. Like when you're looking at the bottom of this. I tried to pick that up very firmly. All right. Not sure what I got on here, but this thing has wheels. Hey. Push me around. Wow, dude, this thing is legit. Yo. <laughs> hey, I'm a kid in a candy store. Christmas morning. Hey, Is that it for box two? All right, so I just got I got the handles. At some point, I'm going to find the directions. I think directions are over there. No directions? Just, just, just free-handed. All right, that is all for box number two. So in box number two, we got the bottom of... The Phenom, and we also got the the, uh, the handlebar to push this around. And I'm not sure where it goes, but it looks like it goes like that. Yeah, pretty sure. That we will. We will definitely figure it out. Okay, so let's move this over to the side a little more. I love that this thing gets pushed around. I was like trying to figure out how am I going to push this whole 100-pound thing around. You know what I'm saying? Like... Hey, hey, they, they definitely make it easy. Er. All right. Let's do this last one now. In box numero tres. Let's get my plastic out first. I'm not sure yet. I think it's all like the rest of the accessories, but it's also the other, the other, uh, the other, the elite. Two, I think, is in here. This one here will have. This one here, I have the Elite Grand, I think. Not the Elite. I have the. This is the Elite Grand 5 LE that I'm about to open. Elite. Christmas. Christmas came early, baby. Oh, oh, got him. All right, so I got some tools here. This is an amp charger here I got in that box. And some stuff back here. Oh. 
Yes. So that is the Elite Grand Five. Was that the Elite Five Grand or the Elite? What's it called? The Elite Grand 5 LE is the actual name for this machine here, and it is the upgraded version of my machine. I will show you guys what I have. I will show you guys what I have before that, and then you will see the rest. We also, in this box, got a heavy bag. This feels like it's probably going to, I think this is the external charger in this bag here. Um... Yes, it is, and it is a very serious, large external charger here, so, huh? Yeah, it is. So, it's all strapped in, in here. Yeah, this is it's pretty serious. All right, so that is all of the box outtake stuff. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I had before. Good. Can you still see the bottom? Perfect. All right, so this, so this is what I had before. So this is the Elite Grand 2 here, and this is the Elite Grand 5 here. First thing I noticed is that they created adjustable function pieces to be able to just lift this up. Like one of the issues that I was dealing with with the Elite 2, and it's a great machine, but it, when I was dealing with the Elite 2, is I, like when I was trying to put it in my car, I would basically have to unscrew these knobs or just put it in my car and just risk breaking this. So like now they've they've definitely sturdied this up. I probably need to tighten mine up here. Um, but they've sturdied this up, and they just have these two small like unlock pieces that are just inside there, and I can just fold and go. So this is going to be faster. It's going to be faster for me to like – export this guy and take it from place to place when I'm moving locations because I definitely I, mean, I don't have a truck so I definitely won't be taking this guy a lot of places it's probably going to sit in the gym here um, and the next thing I noticed I think there you can get more balls into this one here so obviously they upgraded it with this new white piece that connects to the feeder and this is where you put the balls in the machine so you either dump there or dump here and this is definitely larger. Um, let's see how many this one can hold. The Elite, the Elite 5 can hold, oh, it has 150 ball capacity. Is that the same as the, as the Elite 2? The Elite 2 has oh, 152. So we didn't change, we didn't upgrade it in the amount of balls that can go in. But 150 is still a lot. I've only been used up to like 50 and it's, Handles enough. Yeah, exactly. So, like, getting to that 150 mark is going to be good. Obviously, I'm going to have to be buying some tennis balls here. Um, Lobster Sports was awesome to provide me with just a 75, but I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to get more of those. All right. So then they then I, the other thing that they switched on this. So if you check out the back here, this now has a a pad, and I want to say this is the newest of them. This now has a pad that I can literally pick what's going on on the board. So I can, I can choose where this thing is shooting each time. So, like, I have front line, mid line, back line. So that, that would definitely be a speed change. I can change the spin of the ball. But I can do this all from right here, and I can turn this remote on from right here. Um, so once I figure out, like, and it's going to take a learning curve for me to figure this stuff out. But once I start to... Um, break it down and get into these machines, I'll be able to really use them like for, for what I need them for. Because obviously it's set to play tennis. I just need to figure out how to make it work the best for me um, and set up the timing of the balls and all that stuff so that my guys can really maximize the usage of this thing. Because um, uh, as of right now, I'm right now I just got to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a little bit to figure them out. But as we figure them out, I'm going to keep you guys updated.